you boys needed some help. We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. Hello guys, I have here one six scale sideshow StarCraft 2 Jim Rayner. I'm having a problem with this action figure. The uh, LED on this uh, on his uh, right fuel cell died. So I'm gonna replace it. It's an easy fix. All you need is a M2 Allen wrench since the uh, screws here are M2 and uh, soldering iron and the last one the very the very important one is the LED replacement it's a it's a three millimeter clear white diode there you go so yeah I'll be back already guys I forgot to uh record press record when I was uh fixing the LED light here. The problem was the uh, LED was dead. Every time I would press on button, it won't uh, turn on. This thing's supposed to light up if you uh, pull this out like that. So what I did, I took an M2 Allen wrench. Screw here is an M2. So I took it out. Let me zoom that. I pulled out the LED using a flat nose fl uh, plier. Actually, there's a glue there. It's a, I think, a Elmer's glue or hot glue. What I did, I just fried it up. I used my Gundam nipper to pry up the, uh, to take out the glue. And I pulled out the LED. Make sure to pull that really careful. So this is what I did. I pulled out the wire. And I, since I have a soldering iron laying around, I just uh, removed the old LED and replaced it with a new one. It's an... LED diode is an old version LED. I got this from Amazon. It's a three millimeter clear white diode, uh, three volt to three point two volt, twenty milliamp. So I just bought. <laughs> I only need one, but they sent me a hundred pieces. Only cost me four dollars for this. I replaced it, and now it's lighting up. There we go. There we go. And what I have to do is just pull the uh, push this back. Push that back and put back the uh, cover and screw it back so now it's back so what I'm gonna do is gonna pull this there and there you go it's back on And it's good as new. Oh, also I forgot. Uh, I know most of you guys have this and uh, was disappointed after a few years since the uh, the tubings tend to dry out and crack. Actually, I have a fix for that. I mean, it's not really perfect, but it really, really uh, hydrate the uh, tubing and it will diminish the crack a little bit. I mean, if you take a closer look, like a few inches away from the tubing, you'll see the crack, but about a foot away, you won't even see the crack. See that one? There's a little a little cracks. Actually, before it was worse. I mean, you can see all the lines real bad. So what I did, I used a water-based uh, 
lubricant which is a KY jelly used in the hospital so if you have friends or relatives or sp uh, spouse that use it, that works in the hospital just ask them to uh, bring you one sachet or several sachet I mean one sachet is not and just use a paintbrush a paintbrush or a q-tip and uh, apply it on the tubing it takes about a few apl application I mean one application just leave it there for 24 hours you'll see the improvement but still you'll see, you still see the crack but uh, for s this one is I did a second application yesterday and now the crack is almost ga gone even here the crack here on this little uh, tubing is gone this one second application the crack almost uh, it's almost gone so probably third and fourth application it'll disappear even here this is second application here the crack disappeared it looks like brand new now this is the tubing that i was talking to you guys about that uh I applied uh, KY jelly if you take a closer look I mean you can still see small cracks but it's not that uh, bad anymore compared when it was dry so all you need is to lubricate it by KY jelly or any lubricant that is water-based never apply a uh, petroleum jelly or any lubricant that is not water-based because it will destroy the rubber so again only apply a water-based lubricant i know a lot of you guys are looking for a way to save your uh, gym rainer especially the rubber tubing the answer is ky jelly a water-based uh, lubricant used in the hospital okay so yeah i hope i was able to help you guys yeah that's about it uh, i think that's about it if you guys have any question just comment below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe remember uh, most of my posts are all about gundams but uh, time to time i will post about uh, one six scale action figures from hot toys or any one six scale action figures any toys in general Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Bye.